Hey everybody, Casey here, and I'm back at it with more Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. So this is actually going to be the end of chapter 8, and normally I wouldn't show you something like this because it's just a lesson, but I figured, you know what, this kind of symbol looks really, really interesting, and well, I'll be moving on to chapter 9 after this anyway, so let's just do this. Here we go, totally brilliant. I did it! Uh, I don't remember what the spell was actually called. It'll probably show it in a second. Ah, right, here we go. It was... Aloha Mora. And that, as you saw, it enables you to, like, get out of things. That's gonna be really, really important moving forward, so... Well done! You successfully unlocked another piece of knowledge at Hogwarts. And I'm one step closer to unlocking that door. Assemble in the corridor. Once I've prepared my potions, we'll be ready to enter the locked room. Give me a little time. Eight hours? Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Nowhere special. Nowhere I'm supposed to be going. You're Jacob's brother, aren't you? Yes. Your brother is one of the nastiest little rule breakers the school's ever seen. I was sad to see him expelled. You were? I was. I missed my chance to hang him from the ceiling by his wrists. Now I have a second chance with you. I'm not like my brother, Mr. Filch. You're a liar is what you are. Mrs. Norris saw you two Gryffindors looking in a forbidden corridor. I'm guessing one of those Gryffindors was you. I don't know what you're talking about. You won't be going anywhere without me and Mrs. Norris Noring. Trick Filch, ignore Filch. Top one. Have you heard of Peeves? Of course I heard of Peeves. Filthy little poltergeist has caused me more trouble than every student put together. Why? I heard him talking about sabotaging your office. How? He said he set up all the prank items you've confiscated to go off the next time you open the door. I hope Mrs. Norris doesn't get hurt. Why would he do that? Well, you know Peeves better than me, but I assumed it was because he's fond of mischief and chaos. And he hates you. How do I know you're not lying? You can think of lying and take the chance that he ruins your office and hurts Mrs. Norris. Or you can stand guard inside your office so Peeves can't get the best of you. I hate that ratty little poltergeist. I can't let him harm Mrs. Norris and damage my office. I keep my favorite chains in there. If I find out you're lying about this, I'll be using those same chains to hang you from your ankles. So let's actually finally go to what we're supposed to, which is the corridor. Hello, ghost. Assemble in the corridor. This is so exciting. I have been wondering when I get to go on my first real Hogwarts adventure. It's Mrs. Norris! Is everyone ready? I brought every potion I can imagine being helpful in this situation. I spent all night studying maps of the section of the castle and going over the plan, Casey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. And I took Phyllis into staying in his office, but we should still hurry. Snape might return any second. Penny will keep watch to make sure no one is coming. Rowan will give a sleeping drop to Mrs. Norris while I use Alo Homura to unlock the door. By the way, I don't think I'm saying that correctly. I know someone in the comments, they said that I was mispronouncing it. But I can't remember what they said. But it's not drought, I don't believe. I've read a lot of books, but none of them explain how to make a cat drink a potion. I mix it with milk. Just pour it on the ground and she should lick it up. That's pretty smart. So she doesn't notice him there? I imagined myself doing a lot of things at Hogwarts, but I never thought I'd be giving a cat a sleeping drought.
Oh no! Kerplunk. Brilliant plan, Casey. You have a real gift for this. If wizarding doesn't work out, you should really consider burglary. Let's hurry and get inside that door. Quick, get the lock open before Filch comes back. And down we go. Beautiful, I'm not gonna skip anything. Alohomora! Flipendo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Flipendo! Marula! Rowan! Flipendo! Only an idiot would invite a Hufflepuff to keep watch, loves gaming. I was wondering how to unlock the door and get past that nasty cat. All I had to do was follow you and wait for you to do it for me. A cursed vault could be inside and no one is going to reach the cursed vaults before me. Are we sure about that? Have I mentioned how much I hate my ruler? Are you alright, Penny? Yeah, I'll be fine. I brought a wig and weld potion. What should we do next? We could stop her, make her pay, help her. Well, I mean, does it really matter if she goes through the door first? In the end, we're all gonna want to see what's behind the door, so you know what? I know this is probably a very unpopular decision, but I'm gonna help her. I know it sounds mad, but we have to help her. She could be in danger. You're right, it does sound mad. Whatever you choose, I'm right behind you, Casey. Me too. There won't be enough healing potions and all of Hogwarts to help Marula when I'm done with her. Let's see what's inside this room. Here we go. Let's get inside that room. It's a one hour quest. I have enough of that. Marula? What happened? Oh, this is too good. The the ice stuck me to the floor, and it keeps spreading all over me. It's the same ice from my vision. It's spreading over the door, too. Get, get, get me out of his ice before I jinx the three of you. Too late. The door is frozen shut. Casey, help. Hold on. Oh, Castle Pendo. Beautiful. Flipendo! Well, it worked. Are you okay, Rowan? Don't worry about me. We have to help Penny. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a good idea. And once again... Flipendo! Thank you, Casey. I was afraid I'd freeze to death. N no one cares about you. S save me! Save Marula, save yourselves. Okay, everyone, stand back. This is going to hurt, Marula. What are you talking about? What are you going to do? I'm going to hurt you. So I can actually do this correctly. Flipendo! Ow! Hurts, doesn't it? 
We have to get out of this room. Cast a knockback jinx on the door. That sounds like a plan. Is it going to work? Flipendo! That kind of worked. The door's still stuck. What do we do, Casey? The ice is running fast. I have an idea. What are you going to do? I'm going to see if I really know how to brew a strengthening solution. I, I thought it said potion for a second. What the? Oh, she's going to drink it. She's going to get strong. She's going to break the ice. Did it work? We're about to find out. Whoa. Wait, what did that say above that? That, that? Is that a word at the top? You can kind of see it. You did it, Penny. Let's get out of here. Do you think this ice will keep spreading throughout the castle? Wait, look at this. What is it? It's some sort of code. Someone left the message in the ice. I wish I had something to write it down. I already have it memorized. Let's get out of here. Okay. Wow. Just like that, huh? Who wants to bet that he actually didn't memorize it? Ah, we did it! Ah, I should have known better than to follow you idiots. I'll find the real curse falls by myself. So that was not the real one? That wasn't a cursed fault, was it? Doesn't seem likely, but the idea itself did appear to be cursed. Maybe it's protecting a vault? Or somehow escaping from one? Deciphering those ruins could give us a clue. Either way, it seems like your vision was some sort of prophecy. If the ice is spreading, it could eventually encase all of Hogwarts. We could try to work that out later. Let's just get back to Griffin or Common Room before we get caught by Filch or Snape. That's probably a plan. Report back to Angelica! Alright, we gotta do the whole scroll thing again. Alright, it's just the very end this time. You wanted to see me? I warned you that word travels fast at Hogwarts, Casey. Is it true that you entered a forbidden quarter with Rowan, Penny, Haywood, and Marula Snide? Aww. Do not lie to me, Casey. It will greatly damage your relationship. Yes, it's true. Noi went alone. Hmm. But I'll get the points, and that's what's important in life, right? Points. You know what? I can't lie. Because regardless, they're going to find out eventually. Yeah, but it was my idea. I thought the corridor was connected to the cursed vaults, and I was hoping to find a clue about my brother. I understand why you did it, but you have to realize you represent all of Gryffindor. Professor Dumbledore has requested to see you later this evening. Why? I assume it's to talk to you about what did or did not happen in that corridor. Good luck, Casey. You're gonna need it. Oh, man. So does that mean we get to see Dumbledore? Report to Dumbledore. The headmaster would like a word with you later on. You will hear from me when it is time. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait for eight hours. So here we go. We're gonna go to the courtyard. Report to Dumbledore. So we finally get a chance to look at uh, good old Dumbledore. Looks exactly like I thought he would. Thank you for meeting with me, KC. Of course, Dumbledore, I... It's beautiful, isn't it? Sir? The quiet night, the crisp air, it truly puts your troubles into perspective, doesn't it? I oftentimes come here when I need to make an important decision. My prefix said you wanted to see me about everything I've done wrong this year. And about what happened with the cursed ice. You're expecting a lecture. 
but I feel as though you want to ask me about something. Do I? I guess I do. So I have to ask him, well I want to ask him about my vision, the curse vaults, my brother. Come on, we gotta go with the last one for, for obvious reasons, I don't need to say anything. Why was my brother expelled? He refused to talk about it before he disappeared. No one else would tell us anything. That is a long and complicated story, Casey. I was intrigued by your brother, but he gave me no other option. Even I don't fully understand what led to his fall. Something tells me you'll learn more in the coming years at Hogwarts. I'm not going to be expelled? You have made many, many mistakes this year, Casey. But you have also demonstrated bravery, compassion, and resourcefulness. You show great promise. All things considered, I believe you have earned 100 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> 100 points? Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Professor Amazing. In the years to come, you must be mindful of how your decisions impact others. Remember, Casey, it is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. Can we talk more about the cursed dice? And my brother? And the cursed vaults? We can and we will next year. Enjoy your summer holidays, Casey. No! Why not now? Why did I ask him like in a way of trying to ask permission for the questions? Why not just be like, hey man, the cursed dice, the cursed vault or whatever. Give me the info, give me the scoop. I'm trying to be too nice about it. Finish your lesson to begin the next chapter. Okay. Let's do that, shall we? I already got the stars, thankfully. Ooh, okay. So I guess we'll uh, we'll wrap it up here. So what's amazing about all this is that even though we went through all that stuff and of course we did bad things, we got rewarded for it. Which is... <laughs> that's, that's a, what's a weird lesson. So... Is Dumbledore saying, hey, make stupid mistakes and I'll reward you? Because that's what happened. So the question remains is, what do we do next? Because obviously there was nothing behind the door, but although our vision said otherwise, unless it's like my brother just like speaking to me or something, and he knew that Dumbledore would not expel me and give me the points and all sort of stuff. I don't know. It seems like that would be an obvious thing, I guess. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name's Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.